So I was putting a bit of kindling yesterday and somehow I managed to break the end off the handle of my little bask axe. So I've chucked this video together to show how I'm rehandling it. Now I'm about to commit axe sacrilege here by hanging a bask head on a wedged handle but there you go. Uh, in fairness I've been thinking about doing this for a little while now. While I like the head, a little 1.25 kilo weight, uh, I've never really liked the handle, I've found it a bit short for my taste so we're going to stick it on a slightly longer ox and cob handle and we'll see how we get on. So let's get into it. I've seen a couple of guys reviewing these axes and saying they've had issues with the slip fit handles coming loose. Um, some view that in a positive light and like the fact that you can swap handles out in the woods, things like that. Um, <laughs> I've got to say that wasn't my experience of this handle. Uh, even with drilling um, and using the punch, this handle was harder to remove than some of the wedged handles that I've removed in the past. So there are videos out there of the guy who makes these installing handles with a hydraulic press. And I think in my case, I definitely got one of the press ones because it wasn't coming out without a fight. So eventually we got it out and I thought it'd be interesting to weigh it while it was there and it came in at a tad over a kilo. For anyone who hasn't bought an ox and cop fax handle, they're good, uh, but they are seriously thick. And uh, having knocked this belt sander up, I've got a nice coarse abrasive belt on there. I found it's the best way to get material off in a hurry. Downside of this process, of course, it is quite dusty. The upside is it does give you a good view if you've been visiting the shed overnight. So because the basket heads are tapered from thin at the bottom to fat at the top, I'm going to use a cross wedge to spread that eye out. I always like to use a dab of glue on my wedge. It just helps hold it in place, I've found. If Tried it before without glue and I've had a few wedges back out, so belt and braces. So those little cross wedges didn't go in quite as far as I would have liked before they disintegrated, but there you go. There's a bit of a gap in the top of the eye, but if the head comes loose, I'll whack a couple of metal wedges in. There we are. 